Okay, so can we go on to the second one, please? Yes, okay. Um, yeah, just a little bit about my party plan training. Um, I discovered Jan Rue. I don't know if many people have heard of her, but she's huge in America. Um, she did Toy Party Plan, um, and she then started writing books. Um, one of the ones is Let's Party, which pretty much tells you from sort of start to finish how to run a successful party plan business, um, from invitations, hostess coaching, uh, sponsoring, you name it. She, you know, there's, she's absolutely amazing. Um, and I, I had the uh, opportunity to meet her and Bill when she did um, a massive training um, quite a few years ago now. Um, and she's obviously American, very big, bouncy, but you know, what she didn't know about party plan, it was, you know, she's absolutely amazing. So if you do want to go into the party plan side of things, definitely see if you can get a hold of a copy. I don't think they're in print anymore, but I do think you can get them on Amazon or eBay. I did have a look. Um, I've got a load of books from her that are signed actually. She's, she's done a lot more training since, not just around the party plan. I think she now does for the living, I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, definitely with, with regards to wanting to do party plan or, you know, even your coffee mornings, anything like that, definitely read up, you know, try and get as much as you can. There's, there's so much out there online. If you Google party plan, um, you know, the hostess letters, it, all of that sort of thing, you know, is, is, is quite readily, easily available. So, um, but she was a big, you know, a big thing for me. So, and an absolutely amazing woman. Um, can we go on to the next one, please? <clears throat> yes okay so um parties and coffee mornings as with sponsoring always start asking friends and family first you know um use the the you know the age old oh you know could you do a training one for me just so that i can get used to doing it um you know be my sort of guinea pig as it were and you'll be surprised how many friends and family will say oh yeah I'll just do it as a guinea pig and then you end up doing a full-blown party and you know you end up booking your parties from there um we when we were doing clean easy all those years ago we had um quite a lot of old people's complex that we used to do and um, there's quite a few of them in Norwich and got chatting to the wardens and around Christmas time they they raised money for their Christmas outings or their Christmas parties um, and I just I just got chatting to a warden one day and asked if she wouldn't mind if I if I came in on one of their coffee mornings and she was like yeah sure you know and that was great I mean the elderly they love writing their Christmas cards you know they love buying things for their grandchildren and great-grandchildren so they loved you know sort of having me come in with you know my basket of goodies um, so that's another good way you know friends families or the old people's complexes um, a lot of them are listed uh, online so you can get the telephone numbers and speak to the wardens uh, and just ring them up and ask if they wouldn't mind you coming along and doing sort of a Christmas coffee morning. Um, I've never had one say no so you know they are they are quite good. Um, <clears throat> if you're going to have a coffee morning at home make it simple you know tea coffees a few nibbles. If you're doing it in the old, com old people's complex they usually have like cookies and tea and coffee for like donations and stuff so you know they're really good to get into as well if you don't if you don't you know want to do the parties as such and you'd rather do daytime they are they are quite good for doing having a basket with all your goodies in um, you can pick baskets up from boot sales charity shops ebay and um, jazz them up a little bit put tinsel around them you know attach a bauble or two and put some bits in there so that you know you've got something on display <clears throat> um, as I said, they're quite simple to make and quite cheap to make. So, you know, that, that is quite a, quite a good way. Baskets and um, some of the smaller stuff, obviously some of the bigger stuff you can't put in baskets, but, you know, having some of the smaller things, Christmas cards, always, always keep a stock of Christmas cards. Everybody buys Christmas cards. Um, but yeah, some of the smaller stuff will go in your display box, basket. The, um, oh, what is it we do at the minute? The bag of bows. Um, stuff like that, having them in your basket, they go like hotcakes. Um, if we can go on to the next one, Lynn. Yeah, again, some of the jewellery, um, some of the makeup, you know, um, gifts for everyone really, young, old, yeah, make your own Christmas cards for the children. Um, you know, you'll have mums at your parties or your coffee mornings. You'll have elderly people that want, you know, some of the, the sort of trinkety type things. 
Um, but yeah, just have a, a, a bit of selection of everything. Um, I do actually have two fates booked in this year. Um, one is a Christmas light switch on where they close half the road down and they have like a long line of fates. Um, pasting board, um, you can pick up the Christmas P PVC like reusable Christmas tablecloths for about two pounds. Um, and a gazebo, you can pick one of those up with no sides for $9.99. They're reusable so you can use them again and again. Um, is you know a great way of of getting your sort of bits out there. Get, have a make sure when you've got your table set up, you've got anything that you want to sell or a display basket, and then catalogs by the side of it, so that people that are coming in having a browse or having a look can just take away a catalog with them. Make sure obviously you've got all your details on them. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Right. With regards to the actual parties themselves. Um, I don't usually let them run too long. They're usually an hour, hour and a half. Um, always keep it short and simple because they get too bored or, um, you know, people will start leaving before you can get anybody to place orders. So, so don't draw it out to be really long. Um, always make a point of giving the hostess a little gift as a thank you for hosting. Do it in front of everybody so that, you know, they can all see that if they book a party, they'd get a little sort of either a goodie bag or a little gift themselves. Um, the old people's, as I said, a lot of them have their Christmas parties. So, you know, I've in the past, I've done the front cover product, half price to raffle off, um, to donate money, you know, for their Christmas parties. Um, again, if you see something in there that you think is going to sell really well, do an on that day sort of giveaway, you know, that you're going to give 10% off of if you sell so many. Um, as I said, when we went for gold, we did the, the Christmas tree that we used to have. Um, and the three tray buffet server, I've still got that actually. I've got, I bought one of those. Um, they went really, really well. Um, you know, if you really want to go for a target, you know, definitely, you know, give incentives. They really, you know, they really make it sell. <clears throat> yeah, you, you, you are your own best customer. Um, definitely worth having some bits around the house that you've bought for yourself. Um, as I said, the, years ago, they did the Christmas chair covers. So when I held my coffee mornings, I had my chair covers over my dining room chairs. And so everybody was sort of asking where I got them from. I made sure I put photos all over Facebook. Um, you know, definitely you are your own best customer using the stuff. I know a lot of people have done videos now about um, the stain remover, etc. Obviously, you know, you definitely sort of, you know, put it out there that you use it. It's great stuff. Um, and you'll get people asking you where it's from. Um, so yeah, definitely you are your own best customer. Yeah, having um, some of the products around your home, again, it's cleaning products or anything, you know, it doesn't have to be Christmas products. You can have cleaning products, um, any of the bits really around the house that you you know you use personally is is a great tool to get sales from friends and family that pop in um party ideas doesn't have to be christmas um obviously we've just had the health and beauty with some amazing beauty products makeup you can do a pamper night with the girls even the guys i know obviously around summers you couldn't have the guys but you know the sort of world's your oyster with this Father's Day, Mother's Day, uh, the gardening that we used to do, spring cleaning. It doesn't have to be just limited to Christmas. You can do all sorts of parties or coffee mornings with, you know, theme it. Um, you know, there, there's all sorts of things you can do um, and incentives you can give out <coughs> with your hostesses. Um, give out your, your hostess letter that explains what she needs to do. If you're gonna go it to, and do a party, you want to have the hostess give invitations out, they're easily made. I think there's so many different places now that, that you know, will print off sort of invitations, um, all that sort of things that you need. Um, you know, just to explain how it runs, that you'll turn up, you'll put your display out, that you'll obviously introduce yourself when people arrive, give them all a catalogue, um, and then just sort of run through the products, let people come up and sort of have a look at everything. Um, but it, you know, if you give a hostess letter and let the hostess know what, you know, how it's going to run in the evening, she can be better, better prepared as well. Party games, yeah. Um, this is obviously with the Ann Summers, they were um, <coughs> quite raunchy, yeah, party games. But you know, there's all sorts of things you can do. Um, 
you know, you can give them, write, them, write down the three things they would love to buy from the catalogue and pass it to the next person. Um, and then they've got to find the page and the, the item number in the quickest time and write down the cost. Um, the first person to get all three out of the catalogue, knowing the page numbers, get something out of a lucky dip. You can have a lucky dip that consists of items from the catalogues and price it around three pound. Obviously, at the minute, we've only got the small Christmas catalogue and the small clean, easy um, cleaning catalog at the minute but once the larger book comes out obviously you'll have a bigger choice um to do you know lucky dip or you know any prizes for anybody it can even be you can even just write down in a basket 20 percent off a certain item it doesn't you don't have to have items you can have like things like 20 percent off an item or you know <clears throat> anything really that you can think of that you know there's so much you can you can use um for for games it's it's quite good and it gets them up and having fun it doesn't make it quite so boring and um, they're not all just then sitting around listening to you sort of talk about the items in the catalog it, it you know it gives them something to do so they feel like they're joining in and they're being part of the the coffee morning or the party or the evening um so it's definitely worth playing the games i do find you know that without the games it, it does tend to be a bit boring and people get a bit sort of you know they get up and start talking amongst themselves and then you lose you lose your customers Keep them informed. Definitely make sure on all your books you've got your stickers on with your telephone number and your email address. Um, when you're giving out the orders, I know at the minute there was an issue with the order forms not having the uh, carbon copies. So, you know, if you have to write two copies, uh, just you can even take pictures on your phone once once you've given them their, their order back as there so that they know what they're buying. Just keep a copy of it. Um, let them know when the delivery will be. Um, let the hostess know when she needs to have all the money collected for or the wardens um, in the old people's complex. Um, with the, if you're having a party and you're using some of the reusable products like the cleaning products, always put a sticker on the cleaning products so that when they've run out um, and that there's not a party coming up, if they do like the product and they want to reorder it, they know on the bottle there's going to be a sticker or on the box there's going to be a sticker with your details on so that they can just give you a quick call and say, oh, I've run out. I know there's not a party or I know I've not got one coming up or anything, but I'd like to reorder um, so that you're then, you know, grabbing them as a customer. That is that is quite important. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything on there. Um, anybody wants to give me a message, I'm on Facebook. You know, you can always get in touch with me. Obviously, I was really nervous about tonight because it's the first time I've done. <laughs> I've probably run through it quite fast, um, but I was quite nervous. But if anybody, you know, wants to give me a shout, I've got so much on my computer, hostess letters, invitation templates, anything like that that you would like. If you would like to sort of chat about the coffee mornings or parties, you know, feel free to give me a message. Um, you know, it is it is good fun and, and it can be, you know, quite a good add-on if you don't, if you're not able to get out and do the catalogues, um, like I'm not at the minute, um, obviously my illness stops me from getting out and putting books out, um, but you know, obviously I'm hoping to do the online selling and I'm hoping Lynn's going to show me how to do these watch parties, so, but yeah, if anybody wants any, any information on it, give me a shout. Thanks very much, Alison, let me just unmute everybody first. <laughs> Well done, well done. <laughs> I <like the> train. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to just hope that the background noise won't be too bad. And if I hear background noise, I'll meet everybody. Anybody got any questions? If not, I'll go first. Coffee <laughs> mornings. When we were on the phone, you said you quite have a lot of quite none of it. Start again. You do all your coffee mornings at home in your own home. Yes, inviting people yes. around. That yes, I do. Yeah, I just I find, especially with Facebook, you can actually advertise if you've got fe like friends on Facebook, not friends you see regularly, but you know you can advertise a coffee morning on Facebook and say, look, you know you're welcome to come over, you, even if you only want to stop for like 15, 20 minutes, just pop in and have a look. I've got this <laughs> offer on, that offer on. <laughs> You know, just just pop in. Um, it doesn't have to be personal friends and families. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of the coffee mornings and the, the old folks' places. And um, with the catalogues, I've been to a few places like that, and they're absolutely perfect. They're the wee 
uh, no, obviously it must be the restaurant then this place that I have one of the catalogues to um, the self-contained flats they have wardens that they that most of them will have a community room like a uh, like a common room where you can just say you know look, would you mind yeah would you mind if I sort of came in showed the products and um, you know if you provide the, the tea and coffee like you would because a lot of them do have coffee mornings there that are just for them to come in and talk about books or you know or just have a have a chat with each other um, so just say look you know on one of your coffee mornings would you mind if I came in for an hour brought my bits in and then obviously I'll donate to your your Christmas party because a lot of them do have the Christmas parties um, and they love talking because a lot of them will be in those complexes and they won't see anyone I mean as you know from sort of cataloging they might not have seen anyone for months um, and they just want to customers as well yeah they had a lot of customers, so that means that. But that's I like that one because, as you know, Alison, it's a sort of um, it's like marmite, <laughs> especially in the business. Love it, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of men and women. It's yeah. like marmite. You either love it or you hate it, but you have to be aware of it and and aware of what can actually be done with it because there's lots of amazing people like Alison out there. Who you might just come across that wants to join your business. Uh, I've done conventional parties, I uh, prefer the online, <laughs> um, to be honest, but I've, I've done the conventional parties, I can see the power of them, but the bit I love is the coffee mornings and the old folks, these sheltered houses thing with the boarding place for their tea and coffee. I think that's something that we could get going right away. The yeah. conventional parties, you'll need to give your first person a couple of weeks' notice. Decide if you want to even do them or no. Louise, do you want to? You were talking about pets and stuff like that. Talking about what, sorry? I'm waking you up. <laughs> about pets, remember you were uh, Christmas pets? Yeah, I, I've done quite a few in the past before. Um, I haven't managed to get anything booked for this year because a lot of them, the the stall prices jumped up quite a bit where I am locally because they're quite mm. a big thing around here. Um, but they're a good thing to do if you can get into them locally, you know, coffee mornings or a Christmas fair, school Christmas fairs, because um, people are there to, to spend a bit of money and stuff, you know, and if you've got the stock there to sell, then chances are you will, you know, they're, they're there to buy, they're not wanting to order really from there, so you need to have stuff supplied with you. So both of you have actually recommended that if you're going to something like coffee morning at the school, it'd be different if it was the ward done with the old folks, which is the one I love the most. <laughs> Mainly because I remember Kim delivering loads of stuff to them. Um, but the um, the likes say the school fairs and stuff like that, if you did try to get anything like that, you would need to have um, a certain amount of product I would recommend. <coughs> That you can, and then you can order the rest. Make sure that you always speak to people about the opportunity. This isn't the only way we do it. We do online and we do catalogs, or you know, because some people might see yeah, you at a fair and think, oh, I wouldn't want to do that, but they'd be happy with catalogs because that's the great thing about the business. There's so many rods. Anybody got any questions for Alison or any positive stories at all? It doesn't have to be a party story. Yes, yep, go on. Lynn, I've done a few um, school Christmas Hold fairs. on, Jeff. Uh, sorry, Colleen, you go. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry. Do you want to go That's on? That's all right. No. Carry on. Um, Carry on, I've, Colleen. Thank you. <laughs> um, I've done a few, like, school Christmas fairs before, and I always <clears> find <throat> if you took, like, a raffle prize, that would cover the cost of your stall. And, like, last year, the light-up teddy bear, I did guess the name of the teddy to win that as well, so that got my stall money back. Good idea. Yeah, that is. I, I think the the one I'm doing in um, the the Christmas light switch on is fifteen pound for the stall. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, something like that would you know definitely be great. Great idea, great idea, Colin. Definitely. Um, we used to get leads as well using that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a January train, and I know January very well as it happens, Alison. I went over to uh, Newport, Rhode Island, to stay with her, and she came to stay with us in Scotland, and we went out in the boat with a bagpipe. <laughs> um, yeah. But that, that's a great idea. But January did a box, and you decorate the box with 
photos of the products in a little slot and people had to put, like, this was a free competition to win the Teddy, a free prize draw, but they had to put their name and all the details so we could contact them. <laughs> right, Jeff, you had a question. Right. No, no, not a question. Just uh, for all the men Sorry. listening in here, parties are not just for women. They're not. Uh, so no. I, I used to do it in clean, easy, and uh, let's say I don't just think of it as getting orders, think of it more on the team building side, um, because I did uh, clean, easy, mainly at Christmas, and just talk to all your customers and ask them about doing a party there. I did it at one customer, and I think I got about, I can't remember exactly, 200, 250 pound of orders. And they actually joined the business, and they were with us for years after that until ill health. They had to stop. So I was saying, so basically, I got paid for sponsoring. And I was saying, I definitely recommend the Jan Rubru. It's, it's on my shelf there. If I went to get it now, I'd pull the earphones out. So. But yeah, Bye. just do it. I was saying, obviously, at the moment. With the catalogs, I'll say there's more products coming. I'll uh, say so you've got yeah. the health and beauty, uh, the beauty catalog <laughs> coming, so you can do a, a beauty party. Uh, yeah, I think as well. That's not um, so much for the men, that one, though. No, <laughs> you'd be surprised actually. You'd be surprised. There, yeah. there are a lot. Um, <clears throat> the hairdressers. Head. Hairdressers, yeah. Makeup with my, um, my son's 23, he's gay. Um, he wears makeup, he does my makeup, he's amazing. Um, and there is quite a few male um, celebrities emerging on YouTube that are doing makeup, um, that have been hairdressers. Uh, so definitely worth, with the, with the beauty magazine, sticking your sticker on the back and just taking it down to a few of the hairdressers, taking about six or seven books down to the hairdressers and saying, look, would you mind if I leave these with you and come back maybe in a week's time? Um, you know, and, and I'll, I'll donate whatever, you know, or I'll do a prize for the sort of top sales or discount for someone that spends over a certain amount, um, give them a bit of incentive. But with the beauty now, it's not just women that wear makeup. There is an awful lot of men out there now that do wear makeup, even if it's just doing their eyebrows or, you know, concealer. And use, and my son uses, um, he does his eyebrows. He's got the contouring and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's not just women. Just passed out now. That's just beyond his comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Arthur's face going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, some of the younger generation, I know some younger men that used to put eyeliner on. Look at boy George, and he's just like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but generally, it is usually a ladies' thing. But Jeff, men tend to do quite well with parties if they do do them because they don't do them. The women, they love it. They love a man doing a party. They get all giggly and clucky, cluck, cluck, clucky, and giggly. <laughs> Lynn? They do. Yeah, Katrina? We did one, a clean, easy one, um, one Christmas. It was really good. We, we did, uh, it was, I can't remember, it was just under or just over £500. Wow. For the one party. But we did it together. And like you said, they thought Ian, Ian was the, like, the, the act. <laughs> so he was trying all the, like death would be. <laughs> he, was, he was trying all the bits on and you know being silly and so it was always good to make it fun always definitely. good to good. and jeff you would definitely be fun i, I would i would like you to do a party for me <laughs> <laughs> you I, I already do black makeup you can yeah. say, get me out of here so, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, Ian was putting things on. I think Jeff's more um, we're taking things off from what we Yes! Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a reputation now. It was too fear to come to Scotland in November. <laughs> I'm kidding. He was, we were hoping to get Jeff in November, but he can't make it. So he's going to be at our next one. But I thought that gives him a small break between the two trainings. <laughs> And we'll get to do the full training this time because some Scottish person uh, went on too long. I don't know who the hell she was. She went on and on and on. Anybody else? <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Um, Richard? Um, just, Wait. just, um, Wait a minute, was Kate, it. Richard was... Oh, sorry, Richard. Richard. Uh, next, Kate. Right, Richard's quiet or so. He go, uh, Halloween is coming. Somebody said Halloween is coming. Yep, Makeup. definitely. Makeup, Jeff. Halloween. 
Hey, Victor. <laughs> yeah, that's when I put my makeup on. Um, how much product? How many, how many products does she take to the pairs or whatever? How many products, Alison? Right, okay. yeah, yeah. What I do is, um, most of the Christmas fairs we book in are usually around November time. So that gives you from September to November to sort of maybe put like one bit with each order you put in. Um, obviously, when when I did the parties with them, Clean Easy, obviously the, the catalogs were a lot bigger. We were putting in, um, obviously to do the nine thousand pound as well. We were putting in massive orders of three, four hundred pound at a time. Um, so we built it up. With your old people's complex, definitely go for maybe 10 packs of Christmas cards. Um, uh, maybe again, 10 packs of the bows. They love, you know, they love all that sort of thing. That generation like writing out their cards. Um, they like being able to sort of stick bows on things and, and making everything fancy and look nice. So with your old people's um, coffee mornings, definitely go for that sort of product and maybe only get one or two items of the children's toys just to show them so that you can then say to them obviously we do these toys you can then order them um but they like to take the christmas cards away because they like to take them away and start writing them you'd be uh, literally they go mad for christmas cards and um, so maybe you know 10 packs of christmas cards some packs of bows maybe a bit of wrapping paper if we if, you know if we start doing it and then maybe one or two of the bigger items nothing you know nothing major on the the expensive stuff but definitely with the with the old people's home definitely the christmas cards bows wrapping paper they love all that sort of stuff the Christmas catalogs generally are expensive as a whole at the minute. So because I've seen a difference in the prices already, Kate. I'm not forgetting. Mm -hmm. Um I was just going to add something in the before, but it was I doing party plan for um I started party plan when I was sixteen with proper wear. Um as I said, it wasn't the thing, it wasn't my forty. I just didn't have the passion for party plan. Uh though I've done it quite a few times. It, it doesn't what what I have noticed is what you demonstrate sells. Yeah. What you demonstrate yeah. sells. So, you know, it, it may be that you don't want to invest a lot of money in products, which is understandable, but have, yeah. like as Alison said, maybe put one away or have a few of your own. Um, and then you can also use customer ones as long as you keep them clean and in the wrapper and it's like, the wrapper. Um, but the more products you've got, what, what, what demonstrates sell? For example, stain remover. I would always do a demo of that. We used to always do a demo of the DD7 in the good old days. And I've got the DD7 out last week. It's absolutely stinks by the way, the DD7. You remember it, Jeff? You, you, yeah, God, it stinks. Um, but it's the most powerful cleaner ever. You would just put ink in a bowl and put... In fact, that would probably work for the stain remover. I wonder if that would work for the stain remover. Putting ink in a bowl and then we would just put a wee bit of DD7 in and then the water would just go clear within minutes. The ice tree, things like that. Kate, you had the question. Yeah, no, it wasn't, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it wasn't was actually positive. a question. Well, just somebody was talking earlier on about hairdressers and stuff and taking catalogues into hairdressers. And I've had the same hairdresser for about 25 years. He lives about 15 miles away. And he used to, he used to uh, work from home in his own house hairdressing. And every year I would give him, he would ask me every year what the what the front cover product was in the Clean Easy catalogue. And I would take him, you know, it usually was something all singing, all dancing or whatever. And one, one particular year I gave him, I think it was a set of three, there was a snowman. Was, yeah, that was massive. Or something and they all danced, remember? Yeah. And I gave him one of each and he had them on his shelf above where he was cutting the hair. And um, everybody that went into the house to get the hair cut, they would, they would ask him what it was and stuff like that. And he would phone me up and he'd go, can you give me 10 penguins and two reindeer and four snowmen and all that? That went on probably from September till mid-November, uh, end of November even. And he I probably told people me, me to customers that I would never have met because they were just too far away. So, yeah. so if you have somebody like that, the, you know, even your local hairdresser, just take it in and ask them if you can leave it on the counter and just take orders for you. And give them, guess, guess the name I just, of something. I just gave them, I just gave them probably 10%, you know, for every one that he sold and stuff like that. So he probably made an extra 50, 60 quid just from, just from selling these for me. That's a good they, idea. They would, order it, they would give him the money and when I went in and dropped them off, he had the money all there for me. So. Excellent. We need people like that. Yep. Yeah, the light up teddy, to... having that on a counter. Yeah. Yep. And, and also... Why would we clean these if we just 
but didn't just put the cattle on three light bulbs. But when we started, the Queen is there, and throughout the years, and it's the same with Eva, as we do, you know, do everything. There's so many different ways to sell the products. You don't have to do all of that, but you need to know about them so that you can show them. And, you know, pick the ones that's best for you. You know, I can't see Bob Harvey going out and doing parties, but I might be wrong. <laughs> but I can see Rosemary doing it. No bother. You can do the makeup, Bob. She's there on the laptop. Hi, Rosemary. <laughs> oh, poor Rosemary, what she's going to put up with. Just kidding. But um, the, the, it's the, the coffee mornings. You remember what Jeff said. I'll, let, I'll, I'll, I'll end it with you, Jeff, because you said you've done parties. As a man, I want you to stand up for parties and tell everybody go do them. <laughs> right, we're going to strip off there again. Run away. Anything you can say to. Because a lot of men like, they're like this. Oh, we would never do anything like well, that. I say you, you you got to come out of a comfort zone, haven't you? So if you if you keep doing what you're doing, you can get what you've got. So try try something different. No, nothing can happen. I say, well, I don't know if it was a man doing an Anne Summers. I don't know what that'd be like. But uh, <laughs> this one for the man. Yeah, no, it's illegal. Yep. Yeah, no, it's illegal. Yep. Is it? Illegal. I can imagine yep. it would be. <laughs> Yeah. Right, we're not going to X-ray. You always have to take it to the guard, Jeff. Owen. Always <laughs> have to take it into the X-rated situation. <laughs> but um, there's more ways of doing it, like than just actually going and doing an actual party. There's the events, there's the old folks' homes. If anybody's going to do anything like that, keep me posted um, and just let me know how you go on. But as Jeff said, you've got to try all the roads. And for the party plan, like yourself, Alison, if you just take that whole thing over on your Facebook and build it up there, it'll work exactly the same there. And Jeff, you, you hit the nail on the head. Every time you do a party, it's a prospect party. It's a prospect party first, and it's a party for sales second. If you approach it with that, you'll never be disappointed because you'll always be looking for lookers. Did you agree with that, Alison? You know, you yep. have to sales, that's prospecting as well, isn't it? Yep, definitely. Well, Everybody help me and say thanks very much to Alison. She's never Thank done you. a training before. <laughs> and you, you were fine. You did this speak through it like a train. You were absolutely fine. And I want to say thanks ever so much for uh, volunteering. <laughs> volunteering. <laughs> yeah, with, with, yeah, with that behind my back. Yeah, definitely. She's like, I've never done one before. So she's never done one before we shove her onto Zoom. <laughs> We well, did brilliant, mm -hmm. very first training, well done. And thanks so much for sharing that with us. Alison said, find her on Facebook if you've got any questions. Alison, there's a middle name on Facebook, isn't there? Uh, it's, it's the, my surname's double barreled, but this wasn't accepting it earlier. So if you just look for Alison and then Rose hyphen Manel, you'll find me on there. I'm always pottering about on the uh, the Viva MK sites and as well, the groups. So. And anybody does a party, please give me feedback. <laughs> Any positive stories before we go and have a glass of wine because it's a Sunday night. So I've we got something to... not related to parties, but it's positive. No, it's not allowed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> one, you know. um, it, it's just another way of getting extra sales. Um, if you've got any local charities in your area so if it's like a family raising money for health care for a child or something like that our particular one was um a friend of mine her son died of cystic fibrosis so they when he was just before he was 18 so um they set up a, it's not actually an official charity but with our host, our local hospital they set up a, a sort of charity um and all the funds they that they raised during the year they would go and buy presents and take to the um, children's ward at the hospital where he spent a, a great deal of time in his life so I used to put a, a like a little letter a note in the catalogues sort of from sort of September onwards when we got the Christmas catalogue and said um, if anybody wanted to donate a, a, a gift to the children uh, and said what the charity was and everything um 
and if they wanted to put it on their order form and put a note next to it saying what it was that it was for the charity and people would order what they would normally order but then would order something else um suitable for that and so it just sort of like doubled the turnover just sort of during that christmas period you know things that they wouldn't you know if they didn't normally buy children's gifts they were buying them just to give to the charity yeah, I don't know, but I suppose that that's a brilliant idea. We just have to use it in a way that would work for whatever charity yeah. you're speaking well, yeah, to. Yeah, this is it. Um, yeah. whatever, whatever charity you're speaking to. But that just reminded me, somebody just said from Nicola Marlow, said that's a good idea. Uh, because she's on chat, I'm no person that can see the chat. Um, I was going to say something, it just reminded me something, but it's, it's been in my head. That it reminded me that remember if you are approaching or speaking to char charities we have you to raising funds. Um again speak to us, we can give you loads of ideas. You don't have to give all your profit away sometimes just a gift for them to raffle. You can bring them in enough that they're happy with or a percentage. But remember there's lots of them online as well. Notice how I always have to bring you back to the online. Um, lots of charities are online. Lots of charities of you. You think any charity will guarantee you? Um, so if everybody's worthwhile approaching, as long as they're getting um, a benefit uh, for them. Thanks for that, Katrina. Anybody else before we go? I'm going to get a VMK back background. I want a VMK background. What like he's got? I want one. <laughs> Green right, well, thanks screen, once again, Alison. No Sorry. worries. Thank you, Alison. No worries. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll, I will be putting the meeting out. It'll be uh, an open meeting, um, probably mm. be the, near the end of the month. And for the team, I'll put it on in the, the Rhino group. Uh, thanks, everybody, who gave up their Sunday night for Alison and the training. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Thank Bye. You. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Alison. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye